Yeah, greetings among four, Ghana four. Greetings, viewers and my subscribers. I'm on your boy, the righteous messenger way at the represent, you know. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and welcome, you know, the viewers and the subscribers one more time. And I'm out for please before I go on, you know, please sub uh, subscribe or join my, you know, righteous messenger family face book group so we can all help share the message of enlightenment i'm out for and today a day here i go see one story i want to share with you i want to share this story with you my viewers and subscribers and this story i got it from ghana web yeah it says 27 year old zimbabwean man almost died fasting for a lamborghini lamborghini 27 year old zimbabwean man almost died you know lamborghini be very expensive car a month for end this story a toxic this zimbabwean 27 year old you know almost died fasting for a lamborghini a month for what a news let me read to you a young man in Zimbabwe almost died after fasting for 33 days and 33 nights for God to give him a Lamborghini. Mbari Times reports, you know, this must be the newspaper that reported this news. Mark Muradira, a youth leader of Risen Saints Church in Bindura, central Zimbabwe, hid in the mountains. So that no one could force him to eat. His aim was to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. I'm out for and if these people they do this fasting, I don't know why did they say 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> Does that add anything to the fasting? You know. But this guy fasted for 33 days. I'm out for 11 seven days. You know, make this guy get in Lamborghini. But his friends, realizing his absence, looked for him and found him after 33 days in the mountains. The 27-year-old abnormally thin and weak was sent to Bindura General Hospital where he is showing signs of recovery. A man for you see, I they do I they read their story to you and I they react at the same time because I want for the team to say if this God day and you know this is a man of God, a youth leader in the church, you know, goes to fast and pray, you know, for you know some something that he needs from God. He needs a Lamborghini. I mean, you see the mindset where we have in our countries. I'm on for imagine if half the country thinks like this. Huh? Why do you need to work hard? If there's a God, a spirit, or a force somewhere that you can pray and fast to and he will grant you your wishes, why do you even need to work at all? If there's a God that can put play on your table, if there's a God that can put roof over your head, if there's a God that can put pocket change in your pockets, why do you even need to go to work? All you need to do is to fast and pray. You know, but here goes the case. The fasting and the prayer serve not the work. Why is that God? I'm on for. Let's read on. Muradiri's girlfriend told him that her dream car is a Lamborghini. Look at the stupidity. Huh? Look at, look at this, how stupid this guy is. And he's a youth leader in a church. What sort, of, what sort of advices is he going to be giving the youths? Eh? But with no job and money to get a Lamo, he believed that fasting in the wilderness would urge God to come to his aid. Unfortunately, he didn't end well. Sorry. Unfortunately, that didn't end well. His church leader, Bishop Mawura, sorry, Bishop Mawuru, 
said it's regrettable that he had to fast for a Lamborghini. He should at least have fasted for a job since he's unemployed. Maguru said. So, so you see the stupidity. Instead of praying so you will figure a job so that after you get this Lamborghini self, you will fit maintain the Lamborghini. You don't get job self. But if they pray to God for Lamborghini, you go, oh, Charlie. Well, my test are they here, no? <laughs> I'm all for let's read on. Church members who try to raise money to get Muraziri, the Lambo gave up after getting to know that the cheapest they could get was around four hundred thousand uh, dollars. The church members are so stupid enough to go contribute to go get him a Lamborghini because his girlfriend asked him to get a Lamborghini. That's her dream car. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> what will they do for Africa, no? Uh, you know, anyway, let's read on. The money they were able to raise has since been diverted to, to help settle Muradiri's medical bill. So basically, the money they raised, you know, they put that towards his medical bill. Where is the power of God to heal this guy? All you have to do is pray and, you know, you know spit tongues on him and he will receive his healing. That one too, actually, you know, they... For health experts say that the body can survive for 8 to 21 days without food and water and up to 2 months if there's access to adequate water intake. So the body will survive 8 to 21 days without food and water but with only water it, goes, it can survive for 2 months. Yeah? While it's well within the rights of the religious folks to fast, among for let me take that again. While it's well within the within the rights of religious folks to fast, the usual advice is to start the practice gradually. The downsides of fasting include getting hungry, having digestion issues, binge eating upon break of fast, and potential long-term health. Occur, occur, consequences. Yeah, I'm so this thing they talk say this fasting has its health consequences. So I'm on for Charlie. If you want go fast for something from God, I'm on for think about the consequences as well. Other challenges could occur, such as potential weight gain and even death. As was reported two years ago. I'm not for, I don't remember. I bring this story as well. One guy, I can't remember the country. Into you go, same thing. Go fast for forest nesting, Charlie. And go see, die for there. You know, I read on. In November 2019, a 46-year-old Nigerian evangelist, Chidi Ike, died while fasting for 40 days and 40 nights in the bush. According to local media reports, the disease had plans to start its own ministry and even announced that he would go to the wilderness to obtain powers from God. He abandoned his wife and two children to embark on evangelism. He go die for forest. Manfo, after the third week, community members managed to make their way into the bush where he had been camping only to find him dead. That same year, a 37-year-old pastor, Brighton Summer, Jomba of Heaven is My Home Church in the Zambian Township of Kazumba attempted fasting for 30 days but eventually claimed his life. So, I'm out for you see the thing we say, Charlie. People think say fasting and help and and and, and praying, fasting and praying will we help them to get answers from God of what they need. You know, but I'm not for it's a lie. I'm not for I they beg you guys the talk say if be God way, you know, you write this book, the Bible, or that the, the Bible is the word of God. Go on your knees, fast and pray, and ask God to throw you one Bible down from the heavens and see if that will happen. No, because it's not true. Fasting and prayers doesn't solve any problems. 
It doesn't solve, you know, or answer any questions. It's hard work. Good planning. Consistency. Believe in yourself. Not in any prophet or any god. Yourself a man for. I don't know how I will talk these things off again, you know. For Africa, we get this belief in spirit, 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 you know. Not for, there's nothing like that. All these things with the experience, they, you know, apportion blame or, you know, they connect or relate it to some spiritual entity. It's just functions of the brain. I'm on for this guy is lucky. His friends decided to go and look for him in the wilderness, in the mountains, or in the forest, wherever he went to, you know, do this fasting. And luckily he's saved. What about you? You know? Do you have good friends who will come to look for you in the forest and save your life? If you decide to embark on such, you know. Anyway, I'm on for me. I talk what I will talk. I can't share the story with you and I react to it. And once again, I will talk to you, say, Charlie. Fasting and prayers will not help you. You know. It's your decision that, look, I want to do this for myself. You know, I want to be this in life. You know, believe in that. Work hard. Keep striving, keep working towards that goal. You will achieve. That is the way I'm on for. People who have achieved and are successful, go out there and speak to them or talk to them. Ask them. Instead of, you know, praying to some imaginary, you know, spirit or, you know, old man with some long beard. If you're born a righteous messenger, we are can pass through once again. I'm on for. Thanks for viewing the video. You know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye. Lift on his up. Feel no motherland. Lift to the hands up. And right just when the messenger and the rhythm right out of the gang contest. Otherwise, we'll fly for the sky for an answer. See that so. Them not stuck up. Watch it. Watch this. Oh, baby, yeah. We no ghost, from me motherland, no, we no ghost We day are for him, it's GH overdose uh -huh. From a long time, GH we are post Pan-Africanist, toast we are toast Me motherland sick, me doctor diagnosed